This diagram shows two circles of diameters 10 cm and 16 cm touching externally at point T. The two circles are fitted into a rectangle of sides 18 cm and x cm calculate x, and hence the area of the rectangle. Note that this diagram is not drawn to scale. Let's go ahead and solve. First let's call the centers of the two circles O and Q, and the vertices of the rectangle A, B, C, and D. Next we draw a straight line from point O, to point Q, going further, we draw perpendicular lines from point O, and Q, to touch the base of the rectangle. Let's call these points of intersection E, and F. Let's also draw another perpendicular lines from point O and Q to touch the side of the rectangle. Let's call these points of intersection H, I, and G. From the diagram, notice that AE, equals to the radius of the small circle, that is 10 over 2 which is 5 centimeters, and BF equals the radius of the big circle, that is 16 over 2 which is 8 centimeters. Since AB is 18 centimeters, EF equals 18 minus, 5 plus 8, which equals 5 centimeters. OQ equals 5 plus 8, which is 13 centimeters, reason, external touching which is the sum of the radius of the two circles. GQ equals EF, which is 5 centimeters. Since triangle GOQ is a right angle triangle, we are going to use Pythagoras rule to find GO. From Pythagoras rule, OQ square equals GQ square plus GO square. Next we plug in the value of OQ and GQ in this formula. Doing so will give us 13 square equals 5 square plus GO square. 13 square is 169 and 5 square is 25, which follows that 169 is equal to 25 plus GO square. To find GO, we take 25 to the right side, 25 going to the right will become negative. It follows that 169 minus 25 equals GO square. 169 minus 25 is equal to 144, so, 144 equals GO square. Taking the square root of both sides, will give us GO equals square root of 144, which is 12 centimeters. To find x. X equals di plus hi plus ah reason. Opposite sides of a rectangle. Di equals the radius of the small circle that is, 5 centimeters, hi equals to go, that is 12 centimeters, and ah equals the radius of the big circle which is 8 centimeters, substituting these values will give us, x equals 5 plus 12 plus 8, which equals 25 centimeters. To find the area of the rectangle, the area of rectangle is given by length times breadth. The length of the rectangle is 25 centimeters, and the breadth, 18 centimeters, substituting these values in this formula will give us. Area equals 25 times 18 which is 450 centimeters square. Please subscribe to my channel to encourage me to make more videos, thanks. This diagram shows two circles with centers C and D, touching externally at point T. If both circles have a common tangent AB, and the diameters of the circles are 18 cm and 25 cm, find the distance indicated by letter X. First, let's draw a straight line to join point C and D. Next we draw perpendicular lines from point C and D, to touch the tangent AB at A and B. Also let's draw a parallel line from C to line DB. Let's call these points, E, F and G. From the diagram, notice that, CT equals 18 over 2, which equals 9 centimeters that is, the radius of the small circle. TD equals 25 over 2, which equals 12.5 centimeters, that is, the radius of the big circle. CD equals 9 plus 12.5 which is 21.5 centimeters, reason, external touching which is the sum of the radius of the two circles. AC equals BE which is 9 cm, that is radius of the small circle, DB equals 12.5 cm, which is radius of the big circle. But DE equals DB minus BE, that is, 12.5 minus 9,
which is 3.5 cm. Since triangle CDE is a right angle triangle, we are going to use Pythagoras rule to find CE. From Pythagoras rule, CD square equals DE square plus CE square. Since CD is 21.5 and DE 3.5, substituting these values in this formula will give us 21.5 square equals 3.5 square plus CE square. 21.5 square is 462.25 and 3.5 square is 12.25. It follows that 462.25 is equal to 12.25 plus CE square. To find CE, we take 12.25 to the left side, 12.25 going to the left will become negative. So that 462.25 minus 12.25 equals CE square. 462.25 minus 12.25 is 450, so 450 equals CE square. Taking the square root of both sides will give us CE equals square root of 450, which is approximately 21.21 centimeters. To find X, X equals FA plus AB plus BG. FA equals the radius of the small circle which is 9 centimeters, AB equals CE, which is 21.21 centimeters. And BG equals 12.5 centimeters which is also the radius of the big circle. Substituting these values in this formula will give us x equals 9 plus 21.21 plus 12.5 which equals to 42.71 centimeters. Please subscribe to my channel to encourage me to make more videos, thanks. From the figure, OS equals 5, QT equals 2, OQ equals 14, and ST is unknown. To find ST. First, let's call the point of intersection of the two lines Z. Next we relabel. Since OQ is 14, let QZ be X, so that OZ will be 14 minus X. Next we apply transverse common tangent theorem. From transverse common tangent theorem. OZ over QZ equals OS over QT. Next, we plug in the value of OZ, QZ, OS, and QT in the above formula. It follows that 14 minus X over X equals 5 over 2. By cross multiplication, we have 2 times 14 minus X equals 5 times X. Next, we distribute 2 into the bracket. 2 times 14 is 28, and 2 times x is 2x, and this equals 5x. Next, we collect like terms, 2x will go to the right side to become positive. It follows that 28 equals 5x plus 2x, which is the same as 28 equals 7x. To find x, we divide both sides by 7. 7 will cancel out 7, and 28 divided by 7 is 4. Hence, x equals 4. Next we can find st, by Pythagoras rule in each right angle triangles. In triangle OSC, 14 minus x square equals 5 square plus sz square. Next we plug in the value of x, which equals 4 in the bracket. Doing so will give us. 14 minus 4 square equals 5 square plus sz square. 14 minus 4 is 10. And 10 square equals 5 square plus sz square. To find sz, we take 5 square to the left, 5 square going to the left will become negative. So that 10 square minus 5 square equals sz square. From difference of 2 square, 10 square minus 5 square is the same as 10 minus 5 times 10 plus 5 which equals sz square. 10 minus 5 is 5, and 10 plus 5 is 15. So 5 times 15 equals sz square. 5 times 15 is 75, and 75 equals sz square. Taking the square root of both sides, will give us, sz equals square root of 75 which is 5 root 3. Please subscribe to my channel to encourage me to make more videos, thanks. 
Also, in triangle QTZ, x square equals 2 square plus TZ square. Plugging in the value of x, which equals 4, will give us. 4 square equals 2 square plus TZ square. To find TZ, we take 2 square to the left, 2 square going to the left will become negative. So that. 4 square minus 2 square equals TZ square. Also, from difference of 2 square, 4 square minus 2 square is the same as 4 minus 2 times 4 plus 2 which equals TZ square. 4 minus 2 is 2, and 4 plus 2 is 6. So 2 times 6 equals TZ square. 2 times 6 is 12, and 12 equals TZ square. Taking the square root of both sides, will give us, TZ equals square root of 12 which is 2 root 3. From the diagram, ST equals SZ plus TZ. Since SZ equals 5 root 3, and TZ equals 2 root 3, hence, ST equals 7 root 3. Please subscribe to my channel to encourage me to make more videos, thanks.